Good morning everyone, so ski last night went really well, you may or may not have seen the vlog, whether or not you have, not really sure. Um, just trying to get my car out of here, we're going for another ski up Big D probably today. Should be a fair bit of fun, and well, back up again for sunset. Welcome to day two of the, uh, well, my ski season. It's dry here. It's not dry there. Anyway, up there's Big D and needing to tick that off the list. So back up the touring skis and back to go skiing and beginner's run because why not? Anyway, it's groomed and it should have decent snow. So we'll see you up there. So Frosty's gotten off a little bit, I have lost a glove, so time to go find where I put that glove. Anyway, the um, skins are on the skis and we're going up the hill. Hopefully it won't take too long. made it to the top it's uh, about five degrees it's getting warm not exactly the winter day that it was yesterday anyway um, fresh groomers on the way down as you just saw in the clip that I just put up and hopefully a nice easy ride once we get to the top we can scope out what's next maybe around to the summit but uh, we're heading over there for the sunset tonight so just have to see what's what and uh, where we'd be okay anyway this is how good the cover is. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible. It's skiable. Why not? <laughs> okay, so the other good thing about Ditterfits is that the uh, Skin comes off from the top, so as long as I can get my balance right, which I probably can't. There we go. That was effort. Anyway, I need to fold this up. Time for the easy part. Pizza? French fries. Pizza. French fries. Anyway, I'm gonna go enjoy my ski, so I'll stop here. I'm gonna go for a ski. I made it back up to the top of the summit. Much sunnier. And no, I didn't catch this chair. Unfortunately, as you can see, absolutely no seat in it. And the lift's not running. Anyway, time to take off the skis and skins and head back down.
Good evening. So, once again, welcome to the proper summit, Mount Hotham. And yeah, beanie hair. Huh, thought I lost something. Anyway, Mount Feathertop out that way. Frosty's that little dot there. There's some dogs playing around. Trig point, fire tower. And, well, the view. He's got a tripod. I'll set up a time lapse soon and we'll go from there. Bit puffed out. Skis are doing perfectly. They are light, which means they're a bit sort of squirrely to roll around on, but uh, you get used to it. So anyway, let me unzip, catch my breath, and well, let's just jump back up here and see what uh, everything is again. So frosty. Yeah. Are they gonna survive? No. <laughs> okay. Going up going up the Razorback. Don't go up that mountain at the start of winter wearing hiking boots. Tim Holding did it once. He got rescued by a helicopter. It's gonna be hilarious. <laughs> Before we go back down, Frosty wants to do a bit of a photo shoot. My camera's held up a little bit, so taking the GoPro for a bit of a spin. Good evening. Made it down from the summit using the uh, A6500 with the wide angle manual focus. So if I'm in focus, I'm sorry. Sunset just there and I think Frosty's waiting for me so I'm going to take a photo and then get going. Up here! Two seconds! Just uh, skiing down from the summit of Mount Hotham. Watch the sun go down. It was Spanky, very spanky. Uh, pretty icy, as you can hear, I'm guessing. Once that sun goes down, it crosses over pretty quickly. But it means it's pretty easy to travel, get good, uh, get good flow happening. No nice is this. June 3rd, second day of skiing for the season. Hasn't even opened yet. No one around. Winning. Thanks, mate. Good use the new skis. There are. They're certainly different, but these are nice for getting around. And here we are, back on the trail. I'm going to leave you guys with it. I'm going to get back and enjoy the last run of the day. Have a good one.